Hey everyone, we are here at the Culture Shock 20th anniversary year. This yeah, is amazing. Yeah. 20 years, can you believe 20 it? 20 years, I cannot believe it's been that long. Two so decades. Amazing. Two decades, years. yeah. Now, amazing, yeah. Now, speak a little bit about, now you guys have a chapter, of course, representing uh, Culture Shock up in the Bay Area. So yeah, tell me yeah. about that. You're the director now and you founded it. Yeah. So yeah, so I was her precursor. So I started in San Francisco around 94. And we were, um, and we just auditioned a ragtag group of, you know, of dancers in San Francisco. And Angie was like, you know, what you guys got going up in the city, you know? And so, and we showed her some stuff. And then um, we shipped a lot of dancers up from San Diego and Vegas and LA and started spreading the love and spreading the choreography. And, and then when it was time to hand it over, <laughs> it was that time. And I handed it to Kim, who was the dance captain at that time. And then she took it to Oakland. Mm -hmm. Right. So tell me about what it's like now. You know, new kids all the time, the shows you put on, just, you know, the lives you're changing. Tell me a little bit about that. Well, um, in Oakland or in the Bay Area right now, we have a lot of different crews. And I'm very proud to say that, you know, they all kind of came through and funneled through Culture Shock um, in one way, shape or form, whether they were with Future Shock or Mini Shock, Mighty Shock, whichever one. And now they're all grown up and you know, they either started their own companies or they're part of other companies or they're with Culture Shock with me now. So it's, it's, it, it makes me proud to see, you know, being with the with Culture Shock family for so long and then to see all these different people that have grown up. And Jesse is like one of my proudest moments as well. You know, when Jesse first came in, to culture shock, you know, I kind of, you know, put the mama's mama on him and <laughs> now do this, now do that, and now do this, now do that. And he had the heart and soul to, yeah. you know, to want to do it and to, and to take on the challenge of, you know, doing what it is that we said. And I remember, you know, he kept saying he wanted to go to L.A. and I kept telling him, you know, no, not yet. No, not yet. Do this, do that. And he did it. And now he's like a phenomenon. And, you know, every time I see him or I see his work, you know, I say, you know, I tell the kids now. You know, he came through culture shock and it was, it, he helped to build the ground in which we're in, you know, right now. And like my daughter, um, Sarah's son, who is my godson, um, you know, it, it's, it's such a big family network and, and unit that it's, you know, I don't, I don't think I could have had it any other way mm -hmm. or I would have wanted it any other way. As someone that's gone through culture shock, tell me a little bit about how your life was before, how it changed through it and how they kind of nurtured because you've had a big career, still have a big career. So tell me how culture shock was a part of that. Um, I think if it wasn't for culture shock, period and the foundation that Sarah and Kim and the others from our San Francisco family paved the way then I I would not have the opportunities to actually excel and count music correctly uh, count music. because I was that one dancer at nine, 19 years old when they brought me into it that I just kept counting the music he kept counting I never he stopped at eight and eight. started all over again so if it wasn't for them I probably wouldn't have been counting the music correctly in my career to this day Look at him but now. I think especially now that I'm in a new phase in my life of wanting to be a father the one thing is that the most impactful part of it all is because we were the first area in the Bay Area to actually create the first Future Shock, right. being in Livermore, and they when they allowed me to actually be a part of that and to actually run that troupe showed so much of the diversity that we're impacting for the kids today and that are part of the Future Shocks and the directors and creating all the other dance crews that are actually out there. So it feels really good to be a part of that and to share in, in exactly what we created back then. Right, right. She exactly. spoke a little bit about how, you know, when, when, you know, kids come through, you're like, he was part of Culture Shock. I mean, what does it know that there's people looking at the career that you've had and you've danced with a lot of big artists and stuff, knowing that you kind of, for the new generation, are somebody they look up to and stuff. What is that experience like for you? Um, to me, that I, I think that's the biggest gig. That is the ultimate payment, regardless of the, how much money you can make as a dancer. It's the gratification that you get from people to recognize where you came from and your foundation that they right. built from. Right. To me, that is the ultimate gig. Mm -hmm. I think doing, if I was to perform tonight, would be bigger than even performing for Britney Spears or Madonna, because why? Because we're doing routines that some of these, they weren't even born yet. Yeah. <laughs> they weren't even born yet exactly. learning things and, and being a part of that. I, I want to say it's such a culture and the foundation that we paid for them. That, to me, is the ultimate payment. Yeah. That is where you know that that your successes have paid off and everything that they've taught me, including counting, <laughs> really, really paid out and, and, it, and it's great and it's that's the ultimate blessing, I think. And you know, for like, and even for like me and Sarah, you know, her son dances with the company back in the Bay Area. My daughter now runs my Future Shock in Oakland, you know, and so it's like, look what 
I was able to get her to do or yeah. what I was able to have available for her to do. Yeah, you know, my it. biggest worry was always like, oh my God, she's going to want to play soccer or something <laughs> like that. And she's then I want to play a sport. No. I was really going to be messed up because, right. you know, the mommy is a little too, you know, foo -foo for that. Yeah. So, it's you know, legacy. yeah, it's, it, it, yeah legacy. it's like if, if I were to say today, you know, okay, I'm done or whatever, you know, she still has. She has the ability to be like, okay, well, I'm going to pick it up and go then, yeah. you know. And for me, that's the biggest thing ever. We can share something. We yeah. can travel together and do something. You know, at all points in times, we have something that we can yeah. share together besides, you know, each other. And, and that's big for me. You know, yeah. I've always been big about family. Absolutely. Yeah. And that's, I think that's one of the, the, the basic concepts behind Culture Shock from the very beginning was mm -hmm. the Future Shock program. Like any form of dance that you, that you look at in any culture always has some kind of uh, modeling or um, like a mentorship program. And so Future Shock, we started Future Shock in San Francisco mm -hmm. around 96. And that was where our dancers would go into the community and find kids that wanted to learn. Yeah. They got the opportunity to learn. They had to volunteer volunteer their hours so it was a real labor falls. yeah waterfalls water mm -hmm. <laughs> so we had a lot of youth outreach messages a lot of anti-drug anti-violence messages written into those performances as well and so those kids got inspired they were able to dance with the adults and then they could also mentor and model good behavior how to behave in the studio mm -hmm. and great you know, respect, school respect yeah, school. yeah we, we monitored their grades and helped them with homework and everything so it was a legacy it was a whole family to grow up to grow up in that yeah. environment definitely for all of us all right so it all comes together tonight for 20 years but hopefully we'll be back for the 40th anniversary oh, yes. <laughs> i hope so a couple of joint we'll be back for the 40th anniversary. <laughs> okay i'm gonna be in the audience <laughs> but when it happens i'm gonna be here Maybe there's no couple, doubt about that uh, joint but, replacements you know, yeah, you know but we'll be here even if it's in a, in a wheelchair they'll be here well thank you so much for speaking to us it's great to hear thank the story you. and about the foundation and we got to let them go they have a busy night ahead of them here at the 20th anniversary for coaster shock thank, thank you thank you thank you angie thanks angie we love you. We love you. Mwah.